Hey everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to A Vintage Vanity. I am super excited for today's video because, well, quite frankly, you guys are here. And we're doing another one of, and I'm calling them the $100 challenges. So basically we did it for Wish. I spent $100 on Wish to see what I could get on a budget for Rockabilly clothing. And I will place a link basically everywhere for you guys if you haven't seen that one. And I asked you guys, who did you want to see next? And uh, a lot of you guys said Amazon. So I said, well, of course I will. So what I did is I shopped Amazon spending a hundred dollars. And again, thinking of budget in mind, I tried to go with things that were like $20, $30, somewhere around there. So things that weren't too pricey. And I tried to get like complete outfits as well. I got everything right here. I am an Amazon Prime member. So everything that I bought was Prime. So it arrived in like two to three days uh, because I hate waiting for things. And also that meant I didn't have to pay for shipping. And I am going to put uh, the links to everything I bought in the description box below. Just know if you use those links, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you purchase via those links, um, you will get a little bit of, um, like, it'll help run this channel, you know, mere pennies to help uh, support the channel. So let's dig on in to this box. I did open everything up just to make sure I had everything. So um, this is our, our box of goods. First thing I got was from Bridesmaid or Bridesmaid. It is a women's vintage pleated floral printed A-line swing skirt with pockets green. So, so we can see that they, you know, have taken the wish standard of labeling things. I bought this in a 2XL in most of the vintage reproduction clothing lines. I'm a 1XL to 2XL, so right around there, I'm about a 36 inch waist. If that helps you guys out. All right, so I got this in this really great, like Kelly green, um, because I don't have any green skirts, so I wanted something to go with it. Um, oh, there's elastic at the waist, which is really nice. Oh, we, we also have two buttons here. Um, we've got a nice invisible zipper here. We've got pockets. This is, this is not bad. Our seam at the waistline is encased. That's always really nice. The um, stitching at the hem, it looks like their tension was off because on the inside, the stitching looks just fine. But on the outside is really loose and pulling. So uh, eventually what that means is this is probably going to come undone. The fabric is not, it's not, doesn't feel super cheap or anything. Looks cute. This is not a bad little skirt. I like the color of it. I like the length. I like the depth of the pockets. I think it looks really, really cute on. Now I do wish it was a full circle skirt because the listing did say that it was an elegant full circle swing skirt. It is not, it is a pleated A-line skirt, but it still looks really cute. So I'll even forgive them that. I am implementing a new five point scale for the clothes that we're going to try on. And for sizing on this, I am actually gonna give it a four because the sizing is spot on to what they're listing on the website. The waist is a 37.5 inch waist. The one thing I didn't like was that the next size down was an extra large, which was a 35 inch waist. And I'm a 36, so I figured better to err on the side of caution and size up. And it just was, it was too big. This has about four inches of stretch in the waistband. So I would have been perfect in sizing down. As far as the fit goes, the one thing that uh, this skirt is a little bit annoying is you do kind of have to either, one of two things, you have to wear it with a belt or you have to always keep it on the very um, on the, the very last button because what happens if you're wearing it on the first button is it flaps. It flaps open as you're wearing it and it just kind of ruins the line of your skirt. Um, or you just wear a belt. Quality wise, oh, so a uh, fit, I would I would give it, I would give it, uh, a, uh, I, you know what? 
I'm going to give it a four as well. Quality of the skirt, uh, because of that loose stitching, I am going to actually give this a, you know what, we're going to give it a three out of five. So it's right in the middle of the road. Was it true to the description? Um, it's getting a two for that just because of the waist measurements not really being very, while it was truthful, it wasn't, you know, the stretch, all that would have been good to know because now you got to return it to get a new size and that, sorry, that is a huge pain in the butt. So I am going to give it a lower score for that as well as the fact that this is not a full circle skirt. Mm. And bargain, I am going to give this a four out of five for being a bargain. All right, the next thing I'm going to dig into here is very specifically, I bought a top to go with this skirt, and it was the 1950s vintage retro Dolores top rockabilly pinup US 18 leopard. So I bought this in an 18 and it was sold by Fab Weave and it was $25.80. The reason why I bought this, you guys know I'm obsessed with the Dolores tops from Collectif and um, I tried to order a knockoff version of it through Wish because I wanted to spill the tea so hard on that. Never came. They did end up giving me a store credit because I was outside their window, which I think was 30 days or something like that. The first thing I find interesting about this is they actually called it a Dolores top, um, but it is labeled, even though it's from Fab Wheel, Fab Weave, it is labeled Penelope. Um, so it's definitely not labeled as a collective. So I kind of first off already am like, that's kind of rude to call it a Dolores. Um, the other thing is that this, as I said, was $25.80. The Dolores top straight from Collective with no sales with the conversion rate is um, like $33. And you can um, shop Collective in the U.S. as well. So I feel like the price difference between the actual top and a knockoff really isn't that um, different. So I'm like, mm, I don't know. I think I would probably just go with Collectif. All right. So, all right. The fabric on this is not terrible. It's a, it's a cotton. We've got an invisible side zip on this. There we go. You know what? Funny. This is my first like animal print top. I know. I don't. I. It's crazy. I don't. I don't. I don't have one. The stitching doesn't look bad. But you know what? Honestly, for twenty five dollars, I'd be really annoyed if the stitching on this was bad. I do actually. I brought down my actual Dolores top from Collective um, to kind of do a uh, comparison. This is done exactly, and I mean exactly sewn the same way. Okay, there's a little bit of difference here at the um, at the center portion. There's still the same number of pleats. The buttons are a little bit farther spaced apart on the actual Dolores. Is even though this is a decent cotton, it is a thinner cotton than the Dolores top is. So you can feel the quality difference between the two um, but this isn't like so cheap that I'd be like oh it's garbage it's such a cheap fabric I would say it's like a medium quality fabric what that means especially because this is a print um, over time the print is going to fade a lot with that in mind for for stuff like this if you're buying kind of the medium quality make sure that you're washing them in cold water or getting them dry cleaned to to get the longest life out of a print like that. For the Dolores top, I will say one thing. I love the print. I did not realize how much I need leopard in my life. This needs to be a thing that happens because it's gorgeous. Now, a true Dolores top will actually be able to wear it off the shoulder or onto the shoulder. And one of the issues with this top was you couldn't wear it on the shoulder. Now, part of that might have been the fact that this top was too big for me because I actually love this whole pairing and ensemble that I wish it fit perfectly. But this, this top, it's too big. The sizing on 
I'm honestly, you guys, I'm, I'm giving it a two um, because of the fact, and this really one reason, one reason only, the fact that they're sizing, it shows like the Amazon size chart and it says, hey, don't look at this, look at our, our size chart. And when you look at theirs, it only goes by bust measurement, which it's, it's too difficult uh, because the waist on this is so big and the fit of this, I'm giving a two as well. So um, I couldn't wear it up. I had to wear it off the shoulder. She still looked super cute and I loved it. But um, yeah, I was a little disappointed in that as well as the fact that the buttons in the center were actually off center. The quality, I'm gonna actually come in a little bit higher at a three because with the exception of the whole sleeve thingy and the button thingy, um, the quality doesn't seem that bad. So as far as a knockoff, not so bad. Is this a bargain? I'm giving it a one because again, this top is not much cheaper than going ahead and buying an actual Dolores. Is it true to description? I would say it is. So I, I, I don't know. I'll give it a four out of four out of four out of five. Okay, so the next thing that we need if we are going to complete an ensemble is a petticoat. So yes, try it again. <laughs> you guys, if you saw the wish video, you know how much they failed me on the petticoat. This is Women's Lolita Dress 50 Swing Tutu Underskirt 22 inch length petticoat FBA black and I got it in a large. It was $15.99 and this is actually, um, it is sold by Paul Jones Clothing and this is actually has a card in here that it is from Grace Karen, which is actually a line that you guys had asked me to review, which I will be doing, but not, um, not in this one, but here on the top it says Belle Pogue. So, is he the, the, the thing? I don't know where any of this stuff, you know, you don't know where it comes from and he actually is the manufacturer of it. Um, it says Pogue on it. He, uh, so, I don't know, I'm very confused. It is vacuum packed for our pleasure. Well, that sounded real weird. Oh. I will say this, most petticoats are going to be at least 24 inches, anywhere from 24 to 26 inches in length. Um, so this is a little bit shorter being at 22, but I am a shorty McShorterson, um, and some of my skirts are shorter. So I, oh, there's a smell in this one too, you guys. Oh, it smells so bad. So I thought, hey, it'd be nice to have a shorter petticoat and um, yeah. Oh God, it smells so bad. Um, I think it might be a little too short. <laughs> uh, yeah, 20, is this 22 inches? It is about 19 inches. So um, false advertising on this. <laughs> um, the, it did the same thing, you guys. Hold on, hold on. See that? It's doing the same thing. You can't step over boxes in this thing. Um, now one of you guys gave me, a, <laughs> I feel like I could take a, a fashion, uh, what do you call those? Editorial picture right now. It is, it is a little bit better made than the other crinoline that I got. It smells just the same. It's got a really nice elastic waistband up here. The other thing that I don't like is that the, um, and I probably should have, it, sh it shows it starting up at the top and that's something I should have realized before perching this. So that's a fail on my side. I don't like the poofiness starting right up at the waistband because then it come, it just goes out too quickly and it can, if, if you're worried about circle skirts making you look bigger around the waist, that's part of the problem with crinolines. A lot of the vintage crinolines will actually drop down a little bit from the waist and start coming out from below that. So, um, but quality wise with the, with, with the exception of the inside, the waistband is much better than the one that we got from Wish. Um, the volume looks to be really, really nice. 
So um, I would say that if this is the type of petticoat you're looking for, it's not, well, it's not terrible, but it's not the petticoat I'm looking for. I don't like this crinoline. I, I will put it out. It's not the fact that it's a 22 inch length that actually ended up looking just fine. There were no problems with this. I think what it is, is that this crinoline is geared more towards Lolita wear instead of 50s wear. Um, again, along with the shirt that was a little too big, the crinoline having all that volume right around the thickest part of my body looked horrible as far as the sizing i would say it's a it's a four the sizing is pretty much the way they said fit i'll give it a four it fit like it's supposed to this i mean it, it worked <laughs> i'm like i don't have much to say about it the quality um i would say let's give it you know what i'm gonna give quality a four um it it didn't really seem to have any seams unravelings um threading unraveling or anything like that it seemed to work pretty well that way was pretty well constructed is it a bargain i'm gonna give it a two mainly because i was wanting this to work with a 50s silhouette it really doesn't so it really doesn't warrant being probably about a little a little more than half the price of the crinolines that i usually buy this is going straight into the return is it true to the description three again i think we're going to length on that So the next thing to complete an ensemble that we need is a cardigan, a knitted cardigan, which apparently I Googled it and to be actually be a cardigan, not only do you need to be knitted, you also need to have buttons. I did not realize that. I'm like learning things new every day. This is uh, sold by Iliad USA. It is the Iliad USA 7025 women's button down short sleeve bolero cropped cardigan sweater olive extra large. And this was $11.99. And it looks like this is actually Iliad that sells it. It is a nice little v neck. It is a knit. Ooh, look at that. We've got a little bit of a puff sleeve right there. Yes, I am kind of $11.99. Kind of excited to try this on. I actually really, really like this because the size chart is actually pretty bang on. So I'm going to give it a four on the sizing. The fit is absolutely lovely. I like the way it wears. It crops right at the right area. The little puff sleeve, everything works really, really well. So I'm going to give the fit a four as well. As far as quality, um, I'm going to equate this to kind of like the same quality that you're going to find at like a Target or an Old Navy. So I'm going to give it like a three and a half. Um, in then the question would be, is it a bargain? This coming in at $11.99. It's a four. I'm giving it a four for bargain. I think it is a really good price for a cropped cardigan and the quality is pretty decent. As far as true to description, that's coming in at a four as well um, because it did everything that it's, it does not lie about exactly what it is. So really, really pleased with that. Now okay. <laughs> You guys are going to laugh at me, seriously, because the, the next thing you need to kind of complete your ensemble is you need a hair accessory, right? We had that cute little bow from Wish, which was my favorite thing. And honestly, um, I was getting so tight to my budget. I had to find something that worked and I got this for $6.99 because I had to stay under $10 and most of the fuller like hair flowers that we would think about for rockabilly were all over like ten dollars i make a lot of my own hair flowers so um i en i ended up buying a party pack <laughs> of super z outlet is where i got it from they were six dollars and 99 cents hula girl hibiscus color assorted flower lay hawaiian island rainforest theme Hair clips for costume, birthday party favors, event decoration, supplies, 12 pack. But you know what? Here, here's what I was thinking. 
Hibiscus flowers are great because, you know, tiki and all that kind of stuff. These come in all the colors. And I'm like, you know what? If somebody is starting their vintage journey and they don't even have any hair flowers, what a bargain to be able for $6.99 to be able to get a whole package of them. And here they are. Um, they come on these hideous pink little clips. But I ain't mad at it. It's got three little flowers on each one, so it's kind of a, a fuller flower. That's not bad, you guys. Sizing, it's just fine. Um, <laughs> even though there's not a size chart, it was like the, the way it was pictured is exactly what came through as far as the size and the volume of the flower. So uh, I will give that then, I don't know, I'll give it a four. Because like I said, unless you're wowing my socks off, then you're not getting fives. The fit. It actually, it fits really well. Um, you're not really seeing the pink barrette, the bubble bubblegum pink barrette on the back. You're not really seeing it when you're wearing it. So for the quality, it's exactly what you think it's going to be. So the quality, it's, it's low quality. So I'm going to say the quality is probably about a two. Is it a bargain? Well, you bet your bottom dollar I think it is. Because again, big bag of flowers, you can do a lot with it, and you'll get a lot of wear out of them. True to description? I think so. They're party favor flowers, and yeah, they're, they pay, pulled no strings about who they were. They were completely honest. Okay, believe it or not, I was able to not only buy all of this, but a dress as well. And I got the, it is from Wellwits. Um, it was $23.98. And it is the Wellwits Women's Lapel V-neck Plaid Pocket 1940s, 1950s Vintage Swing Dress. And I had to get it in a 4XL. I did check the size charts on everything. And I'm like... I don't know what their size chart was was going on about so I'm a little bit nervous on how this is actually going to fit but it was super cute so I was excited about that um so here we go here is the dress it is a little you know it's got a little v-neck lapel here I mean that's cute right we've got these cute little pockets with the bows on them that's not bad zipper that's invisible zipper um again the fabric isn't the, the highest quality fabric i am a huge fan of a full circle skirt i think the volume looks wonderful um it really gives the rockabilly vibe i will say both the skirt and this dress are not full circles they are this dress I, I, maybe a three-fourths if we're lucky and I get the reason why they do that. They do that because it is really expensive, especially in the larger sizes, to cut out a full circle skirt because it takes just that much more fabric and you have actually more fabric scrap waste. So it makes sense that for like $24, I'm not getting a full circle skirt. And I would honestly wouldn't expect to get it in this price range. This is a plaid and you know, I, I don't know if I would say they made an effort to match um, the pattern, but it's not so off that it's completely noticeable. So that's not horrible. I, I like it. I like it. It is what it is. It's not a fancy, fancy dress, but it's a nice, just throw it on, run to the store, do errands kind of dress. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't look cheap. It looks fun. And I'm actually enjoying wearing it. I've worn it all day long. The skirt, uh, uh, the, the, the pockets on this skirt, um, I'm not quite sure they're exactly like even as far. And they're in way too far. So they're sitting in a weird place. Let's see how much it bugs me whether I want to put the work into actually moving the pockets. But here's the thing. I can still wear it with the pockets as is. And that to me is a huge important thing. Uh, the fit on this is really good. It actually fit as it said on the size chart, which is amazing. So I'm giving it a four on sizing. As far as fit, I am giving it a four as well. The quality, the longevity of this is um, 
let's let's give it a generous three um the quality really isn't here the um the stitches are it looks like somebody was uh drunk driving their sewing machine when they sewed this there was the zipper i couldn't even get down all the way because there was just a massive amount of thread that was stuck in the zipper um is it a bargain at 23 dollars and 89 or 23 dollars and 98 cents um, no, I don't think so. Um, I think that for the quality of this dress, the price point should actually be a little bit lower. I would say that this is true to the description. So I'll go ahead and give it a three. The only other thing with the description is it does describe it as a high waist and it's, it's not. Um, comment section below what your favorite item from this Amazon haul was if you've bought from Amazon before and how well I think <laughs> everybody has bought from Amazon but if you guys have bought any of these type of items from Amazon uh, what your experience has been so I hope you guys enjoyed today's $100 challenge as much as I enjoyed doing it and keep letting me know in the comment section below what online stores you would like to see me do the $100 challenge at. I'm really excited for the next one because it's going to be featuring a vintage reproduction store that I very much love. So I'm excited to share that with you. And as always, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and to be notified when new videos have been posted. You'll want to make sure to click the bell to be notified. And as always, you can subscribe by clicking on my face. If you'd like to shop my clothing line, go ahead and click on that boomerang that you see. If you want to watch my last video, go ahead and click on the video you see playing right there. And of course, if you're going to miss me between uploads, follow me on all the social media as a vintage vanity. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.